finds it. Not when they do that. 12 points now for the senior. Just the third three-pointer made for Georgia. Tisdale. Man, got pretty far with one dribble. Misses the shot. McPhee's got the ball. Mike Tisdale will make that move. Oof. When he gets a little bit stronger, he'll make that move a little bit better. Tisdale up high. Dangerous pass. That's an easy steal for Tompkins. This just wasn't there. Just wasn't there. Lead is seven. Georgia's lost two in a row against Virginia Tech and up at Madison Square Garden against St. John's. Illinois, they've won four in a row. Georgia has played some good basketball teams, and obviously those games have paid off. Open look, Leslie, and the foul. Threes, he's going to his strength, he's going to the rim. And when players understand that, you know, they go to their strength, they become such uh, much more effective players. Leslie now in double figures for the eighth time in nine games. Push in the back, they're going to get Demario Mayfield for the foul. Been very interested in that game. Ricky McPhee, starting guard for Carolina. He's had a great night tonight. Illinois is going to provide some full court pressure. See if they can trap. Broken easily by the Georgia Bulldogs. Let's see if they bleed some clock. Nice decision right there. I think if you're Mark Fox, you want to take advantage against pressure if it's there. You got a clear opportunity to score. If not, I'm going to come back and run some offense. Coach, when you're up by seven, when do you start thinking about slowing down your offense? Well, you got to keep your foot on the pedal. You cannot get to the point where you're just not looking to score, and that's when you got to make right there. You feel bad for Albert Jackson. Good offensive execution. He's got to find a way to put that one in the hole. And coming the other way, Cole makes him pay. Seven team fouls. Both teams in the bonus. Again, Illinois is going to see if they can create some chaos with some full court pressure. If you're Georgia, you want to stay with what's been good to you, which is the ball around the basket, feeding the post, looking inside. Obviously, Illinois got to find ways to keep it out of there. Big time shot, Dustin Ware. Lead back up to a half dozen. McCamey has the ball, the junior from Chicago working against McPhee. Cole's been a surprise here in the second half with his shooting. George has done a nice job with all of Illinois' ball screens, not allowing Illinois to get much off the ball screen. Cole, a little bit short, gets his own miss back. McCamey, yes! The bounce of the ball right there comes right back to Illinois. McCamey's got ice water in his veins. That guy's... He's cold-blooded. He is just a calculated guy that shows no emotion. Under three minutes to play. Georgia trying to end the two-game losing streak. Illinois basketball. Well, that's a tough shot selection by Trey Tompkins right there with two on him. He might have wanted to get that one back out and let him come back into him. Tisdale a little bit short. Maybe the leg's going out on him. Lead is three, looking for a good possession for the Bulldogs. Dustin Ware crosses the timeline. Mark Fox knows what he wants to run. High ball screen. They're going to swing it and again look inside. Shot locked out at 10, ball stolen away. McCamey. He's fouled. He'll go to the free throw line. Hey, we just got to get a stop. We got to stop you from scoring. Four. And the game's on the line. McCamey splits the pair. Oh, almost a steal on the inbounds. Cole had a finger on the basketball. If you're Georgia, you got to continue to come to the ball, meet the pass. They survived it. 
Now Georgia has to execute their offense. Leslie gets a screen over to Ware. Nice patience by Georgia. Back locked down to 10. Let's see if they can get it to Tompkins. He wants it. He's got it on the block. Working against Davis. Little half hook was uh, not so pretty. Didn't get the result he wanted either. Illinois down by two with the ball. George has done a nice job on the ball screens. Davis open underneath. Blocked by Leslie. What an athletic play by Travis Leslie. The 6'4 Leslie rips it away from the 6'9 Davis. This is a big possession for Georgia right here. Again, you've got to go to your best right now. Whatever you have in your back pocket that's your best offensive play, now is the time to execute. Play clock down underneath 10. If he dribbles it, the double team will come. Tompkins blocked away by Davis. Turnabout is fair play. Here comes Illinois. A chance to tie. McKamey. Yes, and the foul. Concentrates, avoids the charge. Ice water in the veins. Now, Georgia has had some success. We caught a little shuffle cut there around the basket. A little shuffle cut, and they look to punch it inside. And I think that's what Mark Fox is, is going to look to do. The shuffle cut. Looking to Tompkins. Here comes a double team. Tompkins, like a bull in a china shop, is going to get rewarded. Better to have some patience on the line. Take your time. Relax. Now, Illinois has to be aggressive. They're down one, 21 seconds to go. Nice move by Mark Fox. Puts a little bit of three-quarter court pressure so that Illinois can't just... Inbounds. Gets it to McKamey. Here comes the ball screen. Nice job by Georgia. They didn't allow him to turn the corner. McKamey, high, Archer, no! Rebound, Tompkins, and he's wrapped up in foul. Kid's got gravel in his guts. So he can set his defense on a make. The other side of half court is a smart play, not allowing them to get an attempt for a three-point shot. McKamey for the tie. No. Rebound, Georgia. Bulldogs win.